we have got an action-packed show coming up. We've got all the regular nonsense, plus some of Blake's <laughs> favourites. Yes. I'm back in the shed and I can't wait to show you this first try Friday. Yeah, we're also going to be looking at protection and how one of our members here has been putting that uh, to the test. Yeah, it's yeah. all happening. It's the Dirt Shed Show. This week, we're going to start off by talking about racing. Because <laughs> yes. someone's racing duck has been... Hit. Quacked. <laughs> it's his. Yeah. Yes. I've started racing. Well, actually, I went out to the Mega Avalanche. I've never done a race. Never done a downhill race. Never done an enduro. Mm -hmm. Or a marathonist thing like this is a marathon race. Yeah. And I've got the bug. Loves it. He loves it. I want to compete. He, he wants to race. I tell you, we were coming into the shed that he wanted to get in front of me. <laughs> He wasn't happy. He just wants to race everywhere. Race Donnie, everywhere. have you ever raced? I have. I used to race quite a lot. Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's a, I love the bug of racing. Yeah. But also, at the same time, sometimes you mm. don't always want to race and you just want to have a stress-free weekend on the bike. See, when it came to my race, that I wasn't that nervous. I was nervous to start because it's a mass start. Yes. And I was nervous someone was going to take me out. Yeah, because you're but only I've, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've competed before in slope style and that is the most nervous thing ever. Yeah. It's totally different nerves, so I, I hate that, but I like this. So do you find in the racing, it's just the red mist comes on? Yes. You know, I crashed going. and I saw red. Um, so what we want to know in the comment section down below is some stories of your racing. Are you thinking of doing your first race? Has Blake inspired you to take it on? And of course, this is a great opportunity to do a bit of a poll. Right up above old Doddy there, Doddy Duck. Quack. Um, first option is, I race. Oh, I'm a racer. Second one is, I'm going to do my first race this year. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Second option is, I am never, ever racing. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not what mountain bike is about. That's, uh, and the fourth option, never thought about it. <laughs> never really come up. And the last option is, oh, I'm having pizza tonight. Because you might be. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section down below and make sure you hit that poll. Okay, let's take a look at the poll from last week. Now, this is a pretty funny one because we were talking about bonking. <laughs> if you've ever done it. Uh, unsurprisingly, 68% of people, so most of our viewers, most have people bonked. Have yeah. Bonked. yeah. So, kind of thought that was coming. 21% of people, not yet. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. It's, it's coming. Definitely coming. It's coming. Good luck, people. Yeah, and, uh, and well, nine percent of people are dreading it. Rightly so. Dreading it's, their first bunk. It's bonk. the worst. Yeah. It's yeah. The worst first is always yeah. the worst. What yeah. are people yeah. saying about it, Blake? Right, we got biking the east. Bonking is the worst, but can easily be avoided by pacing yourself. Good mm -hmm. advice. Good advice. Mm -hmm. yes. Good advice. Yep. Good advice. If you don't pace, you're gonna bonk. Yeah, I've got one here from Pal Costa Grau who says, "Yes, I bonked. I was 40k away from my house on a super long climb." Uh, I found someone that gave me a gel and a bar and I recovered. Um, day after I got a fever, oh. it was a bad experience. <laughs> uh, but he does say thanks to the angel that helped him out. Well, there's a particularly good one I've got here from Marco Host. I bonked so hard, I literally picked my pants. <laughs> and I didn't even notice at first. Wow, that is a Don't want to beat that experience again. <laughs> that's, that's next wow. level bonking. That's, that is, that's a super bonk, isn't that it? That is a super that's bonk, a super yeah. Bonk. <laughs> So, straight into some news, and obviously this weekend just gone, it was a World Cup, double up, downhill and cross country, mm -hmm. and Lenza Heider, and it was absolutely amazing. But the big news, especially if you're a Brit, right, sorry to be biased, <laughs> but in the, in the women's cross country, Annie Lars won! Unbelievable. Oh my God! I, I, I think Annie Lars was the only person who knew this was about to happen, because we were thinking yeah. she's having a good year, she's been having some good results. And she beat Gunry at Dali, and she beat all of those girls. It was unreal. I couldn't believe it. Bella Moyne took a bit of a tumble. She did, mm. yeah. Um, which gave, which gave uh, Gunry uh, and Annie a little bit of an Charles opening, and off they went. But they took their chance, and Annie smashed it. <laughs> she did. Uh, and say what, what's even better though, she's a friend of the show, right? So, let's give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> hey. did, did the party poppers work as well for you there as they did here? Yeah, great. Great, there you go. <laughs> well, what can we say? You must be feeling amazing. I don't know if it's actually sunk in properly yet, uh -huh. but... Um... When did you know this is on? I think I'm going to win this. Like when, because obviously there was a lot going on in that race. It was a crazy course. So it was technical. So when, when was it like on the cards? I moved into that fifth position, which is podium at World Cup. Yeah. And I moved into fifth, and I was a little bit. My brain was like, "Gosh, like you want, you want, you're gonna be on the podium if you can like hold it." <laughs> like, shut up, focus. You're gonna fall off if you keep thinking like that. Um, 
so it, it wasn't until like I finished when I was like, oh, oh that's, wow. that's, that's first. I better put my arms up. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> wow. You're kidding. Oh, I just thought, I, I imagined you were coming up through the pack thinking, yeah, that's two more and I'm in the lead. Because you must have felt some pressure. Once you, when you've got Gun Rita on your shoulder, it must feel pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely. Like, that's one of the closest uh, women's World Cup results, like, for the top ten mm. for ages. Um, so, yeah, like, a, a little mistake and then if you drop your chain or you slip out of the tape or whatever, yeah, you could easily lose lose one position, two positions, just go backwards. This year, I, I had kind of, like, a clear, a clear winter of training, like, touch wood like no yeah. injury no illness or no major illness stuff so i was like really excited for the season and then with that kind of clear training winter i was hoping that i'd be able to like push back up and just be at the front like racing at the front yeah not necessarily yeah. like winning but um like trying to get on the podium and kind of competing at the front so um on sunday to have been actually racing and then to come away and win it feels yeah amazing yeah i'll bet it does oh, well we're in the shed we're all we're all made up for you it's amazing um it was so exciting to watch i can't tell you how amazing it was to watch it was just yeah it was crazy it, it took the world cup for me to a new level because it was so great to see you up the front there thanks for joining us on the dead shed show and uh hey good luck for the rest of the season thanks very much guys good no luck Annie. yeah and so the men's was another really exciting race so off the start yet again van der poel took a flyer with his cyclocross sort of roots yeah. kicking in there yeah. and there was a little bit of a battle with him and Scherter, but the oh, thing wow. was like lap three you know he... van der poel blew up did he bump i was just going to say in lap three that nino took the lead like, well, like he does yeah yeah um, nino was amazing though didn't he he got and he really had to fight in this race because it was a strange it's a technical race there's yeah. some like difficult sections in he there. couldn't get away no he could not get away no. but yeah van der Poel kind of yeah let him get away because yeah his legs gave up mm. on him but then Shame. cool harvey who had a pretty bad start he was got the back of the grid on the last lap of the race he was absolutely killing it and yeah. he clawed his way all the way to the front and he was only just behind Shirt on that finish straight. Should we not forget who third place? Anton yeah. Sinsitov. Yeah. He, Russian. Yes. I'm saying it's the best position that Russia's ever had. In, yeah, I think in you're the right. FC. Like, like his reaction when he crossed the line, he was yeah. so happy. Yeah, and of course, not only cross country going on in Lenza High, mm. there was downhill action yes. too. Absolutely amazing. Minar number one. Yes. <laughs> Greg Minar took the win. Um, Gwyn had qualified fastest. He was actually he fastest was, yeah. on track until. Been another big blow up. Van der Poel liked it. Yeah. His tyre went. <laughs> Bang. Oh, yeah. Do you know yeah. what? I felt really bad for him because he did. was he was clear. He was in the lead and yeah. it was a, yeah. a ridiculously good run. Yeah. Uh, so Minar was really sporting yeah. actually. He, he said, was. you know, right, clearly uh, Gwyn was the fastest guy yeah. on the day, but it just didn't go his way. It does mean that Greg Minar's got a big old lead now, about 160 point lead I think in the mm -hmm. championship. Mm -hmm. In the women's really exciting racing, uh, Miriam Nicole doubled it up. Double second banging, win on yeah. the trot, and she is starting to look pretty hot for the championship. Do you know what it suits her? So it's yeah. good up there, I think. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah. she's enjoying it. Um, and you know what? It becomes a habit, doesn't it? That winning. It does. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to break. It was really nice to see Rachel back, actually. You yeah. know, yeah. it's got to be After hard that. coming back when you've been so strong. Yes. So good work, Rachel. Yeah. She's starting to look ominously mm. fast herself. Um, and she was half a second back. Emily Siegenthaler. Yeah. Uh, nearly two seconds further back from those mm -hmm. guys. So they were absolutely flying. Championship in the women's is starting to look really cool. Tracy Hannah took fourth. That means her and Miriam Nicole are now getting really close for the top spot. Miriam just ahead, I think, by 60 points. So there's nothing in it, really. Mm. Nothing really. Two rounds left. It's mm -hmm. all happening in World Cup. I want to continue with the racing spirit. Neil's not in here, obviously. He's resting his legs. He raced the Dolomite. Dolomites oh, yeah. Superbike, which is 113 oh. kilometers, yeah. 3,300 meters of climbing. And he was out there with Cy Richardson from GCN and they raced and took part in this. So, yeah, I don't blame him for resting his legs. Yeah, here's what I had to say afterwards. It's big day out with Cy. It was a monster day out. So cool, though. Like, five and a half thousand people took to start this yeah. morning. We lucked out and got in the first pen. I went backwards. You had a good start. I did have a good start, and then I had my first of two flat tyres. Uh, but yeah, just so cool. Like, riding up these huge mountains, the scenery was just to die for. I, I did die as well. Like, uh, I lost my legs completely. I think I need a mineral water. 
Time to see what you guys have been saying on the channel this week. And I'm going to start with this comment um, from last week's Dirt Shed Show. Carl Wheaton says, no Hacks and Bodges song. Yeah. No, there wasn't. Mm, Neil, there wasn't. Neil skipped it. My favourite part of the show. <laughs> um, double song this week, please. Well, we'll see what we can do. Oh, Simon yeah. Gunton's got a bone to pick with you two. Oh. I was hoping for my super nice in the bike vault. Blake and Martin promised me oh, this at the Animal that... 30th anniversary party. Yeah, that's that Simon, yeah. What have you been promising? No, yeah. we you can't promise a super nice. We can't promise to put people's bikes in the bike vault. That's we actually can't. illegal. Didn't we give them our VIP pass? We did give them a VIP drinks pass, actually. So oh, drinks fine. free on us all night, right? <laughs> Don't start yeah. giving me a stick, Simon. Keep um, watching, though. Matthew Lewis says, there was no trials in the poll. What? Only trails enduro and trails. There was a spelling mistake. Ah, oh, there you go. You may still have a shot at this, Martin. <laughs> yes, trials still could be the most. That's why they didn't click trials. <laughs> it said trails. Two. Oh, well. Next. next. It might ne have been tactical. Next. Next one. Moving on. Little Pitbull. Where did the onion go? Ah, it's a sad story. <laughs> It's a sad story about the But onion. he's still really? green. He's still really? green. He's still growing. Well, I thought he was dead and he'd been put in a bin somewhere because he disappeared from the shed. <laughs> but it turns out he's still alive. He's actually on my desk. I don't know how he got there, but he's looking ever so withered. <laughs> right, it's time for progression session. What have we got, Doddy? Okay, first up is Yohi Hiashi from New Zealand. Well, uh, he says, however, I've been riding a mountain bike. No, he's definitely not from Australia. He's from New Zealand. Okay. Uh, I've just been riding a mountain bike for a few months to teach his son how to ride and he's been watching our channel ever since. So check this out, this is really cool. Is he gonna hop to the back? Oh, he is. Oh, yeah. close. Yeah, nearly. He is, he's gonna get it. Oh, oh. He's just... Good job he's got a chain guide on there. He's got great balance on his yes. back wheel. Yeah. Assistant as well. Oh, oh there you go, he got it. When yeah. he did do yeah, it, that was great. it was easy. He yeah. made it look yeah. amazing. <laughs> right, I've got one for you. Uh, name, A-Wire. Location, Japan. <laughs> Trick hot bar. There you are, doing a bit of. Oh, I know that. No, I, I've it. done that a few times. Yep. Oh! oh. Hey, he got it. Smacked that round quick, shit. didn't he? Is he going right, to do it on this it? driveway bank thing? There he goes. Hot bar. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. Right. There's only one thing left to ask after we've done a bit of progression session is Blake, have we got a new member of the first Try Friday Club? <laughs> Yes, we have. Oh, thank God. It's oh, a I'm girl. Her hard. name's Jess. She's from New Zealand. Looks like a big drop. It is a big drop. Whoa, smooth. Look That's at that. It is smooth. smooth. Yeah. She I matched the that landing. Was her first go. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, she says it's her first try Friday. She's in the club. Blake. It is time for Tech of the Week with our favourite Spaniard. It's our Garcia <laughs> Dolly over there. Hola. <laughs> um, actually, there's a lot of tech this week, but I can't talk about it. So ah. there's, there's some really exciting new carbon bikes, but Why it's all embargoed up? information. So next week, is show, that the end of Tech of the Week? Yes, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so, no, no, so got this nice new Camelback bag here. Yes. So yes. regular hydration pack you see out on the trails, but this particular model has got a back plate built into this. Oh, and the thing that's good about this is it can genuinely save you and you really don't notice it when you ride. Now Blake was out of the Mega last week and he actually had a massive crash. He did and, have a massive crash. And he was wearing one of these. Take a look Good at job, this. Good job, eh? Whoa! That was not yep. a nice crash. No. no. If I wasn't wearing it, because all the way down that rock face thing, there was a rock right at the bottom that my back landed on and I could feel it come Ouch. through the backpack and I was like, oh. Oh, I'm actually glad I was wearing a backpack with this all. Oh, well, to think you weren't actually going to wear a pack yeah, at all. And I wasn't going to, yeah. 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 Just goes so, to show, stuff works. It does it's work. It does yeah. work. Um, I also noticed as well something very different for you. You were running bigger wheels. You were running 29s. Oh, yes, out there. I was running the big man wheel. Yeah, yeah, 29. So, how did you find those? I found it amazing. The whole bike for that terrain was amazing because it rolled over everything. And I've never ridden a 29er in such conditions like that. It, it worked and it was fast. Yeah, it was like really fast. Yeah, so, yeah. so why is it then that there's a 27 and a half inch wheel one sat in the office with your name on it that's just turned up? Well, because bike. Yeah, I did order a 27.5 in the same bike, but it's my go-to size, well, size of wheel. I like to throw the bike around. But for that race, the 29er was by far my favorite choice and I'm glad I went for it. Hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges. Hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges. Hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges. 
Hags and Punches. Hags and Punches. Hags and Punches. Punches. <laughs> right, I've got one. Go I've on. got one. Look at this. This is from Bagel. He made a chain device, chain like guide, it. out of a reflector. A rear yeah, reflector. I recognise that. Pretty cool. You see? It's good. Yes. Yes. That is. Yeah. Little extra to keep the chain a, tensioned. A little bit of inner tube just there, just to make sure the yeah. chain slides over the plastic nice and nice. smoothly. Yeah. No nice. noise. Stealth. Bodge? Bodge. Hack bodge. bodge. Hacker bodge. Hacker bodge. It's good. Hacker bodge. We like it. Good catch, John. Good Come on. catch, John. Right, I've we got do this throw one. them out. I've got this got one here. from Bruno Ferreira, right? Take some rock and roll out on your right. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, got little, it's got his little music box and his water bottle. That's thing, an expensive oh, speaker, that. It is an expensive well, speaker. I just, it's a great idea. Taking some music with you is great, but yeah. I've got a feeling that's it's what they they made that shape because of that. Anyway, <laughs> good music. Yeah, John, all yours. Hold on, John. Nice. John's new. John's he new. Is new. He He's is a GCN new. guy. He's a yeah. problem. Okay, what we've got, Tony? It's not a rough and ready Got a pretty nifty one here from Johan Henson. Oh, look at that! Yeah, oh. so, loves wow. the videos, here's my hack and bodge. Yes. Um, so his shoes fell apart when he was out riding. That's pretty unfortunate. That is yeah. unfortunate. And his bodge is back together with a cable tie. Yeah. So, like, these, that was some good hex and bodges this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the song. I'd love to see some of you guys singing a song because that really does make us laugh. <laughs> um, so uh, send any hex and bodges you've got or any song singing into dirtshare.gmvn.com. I cannot wait. Check out this photo of Rachel Atherton looking all cosy from last week's caption contest. Um, let's get straight into what you guys thought was going to be a winner on this. Go on, Blake, what you got first? Well, I got from Aidan Stevenson. He says, yeah, I thought Rachel Atherton dislocated her shoulder. Why is she in a full body cast? It does look like <laughs> it a does. full body cast. It looks it gnarly. Does. So I've got one here. Um, when you, uh, this is from Philip Cernak. When you tell someone to take baggy clothing for mountain biking. <laughs> yeah, that's going a bit too far. A bit too far on the baggy. Uh, the M2B Fanatic says, Rachel Houston has that new airbag kit. Oh, yeah. 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 I've up. got yeah. one more. King Rat. Teletubbies on the comeback trail. <laughs> now that, I think that would be the winner, but I don't know. Is Teletubbies international? Yeah. I don't know if it is. Mm, not sure. I've seen it in Should Spain. we go with that as the winner? King yeah. Rat. King Rat, you are the King winner Rat. of this week's caption contest. Uh, you winner. Get us your details on the email to dirtshed.gmbn.com and we will send you a pop pack, GMBM pop pack, pack, which I've lost. It's probably already the post you. You know, these things happen fast. That's probably where it's it gone. is. It's yeah. gone. Right, let's take a look at this week's photo, which is from our photo shoot <coughs> in our new race yeah. tops the other day. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comment section down below what you think about that. Give us a great caption and you could be next week's winner. Viewer edits, John, yeah. hit the lights. We're mm. about to send millions of views. And popcorn. We've got the popcorn ready. <laughs> First viewer edit this week is from Mad Riders. Um, a day out on bikes. Here we are. Let's have a look at this one, man. Let's have it. Oh, a bit of drone action is that right drone? from the look start. Look at that. Nice. Oh, oh, that looks fun. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I bet it feels so fast going down through that. Mm, field. Yeah. Wow. They're nice jumps actually in this wood, aren't they? Mm, yeah. Nice, so a great. nice flat takeoff. Nice control. local wood. Yeah. Oh, like that's it. good. It looks like a great day out on bikes. That's what that looks mm -hmm. like. Great nice first edit. view. Good edit. Thanks Good for edit. sending that in. Next one this week is from Dab Nation. Oh, here we go. Setting the scene. He's going out on his bike. Some into the garage. Oh, he's got okay. a go-kart. Look at that go-kart. Oh, it feels like it's very anti oh. films. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Pumps are flat. Love it. Absolutely boosted that. All these skills developing things. Wow. Nice. Oh, he's got a good wheelie on him. That's, oh. that's very oh. telling. Oh, wow. There we go. Look at that wheelie. Look. I knew it. Love it. We're out of that. That is great stuff. Um, got to keep your uh, viewer edits coming to us so we can see them. We love watching them every week. We get straight into those emails, mm. dirtshit at gmbn.com, and get watching. So thanks for sending them. Keep them coming, people. <laughs> okay, time for Fails and Bells. I'm going to see if I can get you guys into it mm. right, with this little clip here from Jamie Brown. Hit play on that, Blake, and hold tight. Watch this. Oh! oh. He went off the side. That is oh, bad. That's it? unlucky. I'm watching that again. Oh, he skidded Just there. loses the back end. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. It's so Snake. dusty. Yeah, it's going to be so it dust, is yeah. dusty. Oh, man. Jamie, that's unlucky. I feel for you. I feel for yeah. you. But it's got me slightly excited about what's to come <laughs> oh, next. Yeah. So, <laughs> run VT on fails and fails. Oh! 
Right, I've got a real good Insta banger for you guys to go out there and follow. This guy's called Delayed Pleasure on Instagram. He's a photographer. He's from Poland, but lives in the UK, and he's got some really rad some photos on there. So go check it out. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to throw you to a Vincent Hermance. Fantastic trials ride. He's been world champion mm. many times. A friend of mine of many years. Definitely worth a follow because he does some amazing things on his bike. So check him out. I'm going to send you over to Gary Davo. So he's an Irish nutcase of a man <laughs> who does all these crazy adventures on fat bikes. And he does these like proper cliff top, cliff edge ravines and stuff. Whoa. Well worth looking on his Instagram worth page. Yeah, really cool. Out. Check him out. Right, let's get straight into shout outs. Uh, and I'm going to throw you to another trials rider. See what I'm doing here? I'm rebalancing yeah, the scales. Yeah, trials. Trials. David Cashon, um, <laughs> another guy I used to ride trials with back in the day. Trials, trials, trials. See how many times I can say in a show. Um, he's riding the Great Wall of Tri China. Look Whoa. At this. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. So I'm wow. going to that. Have a look. Right. It's time for the bike vault. It's a bike vault party. We're going all around the world in bikes. <laughs> um, so let's do it. Lance, are you ready? Oh, ready. Yeah. We're in. Whoa. We're into the bike vault. Okay, Alex. Whitey, Whitey Capra. California. Yeah, that's lush. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Hit that horn. That Super, Super nice. nice. But drive good. side if we're going into rules. Yeah, it could have been better. Could have been better. Looks neat though. Yeah, well, just two, two bikes. bikes. What do we feel it. about that? We can't we're do that. No. No. We're not no. having two bikes. Which that's one nice. are we? No. 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 It's nice. I'm sorry. It's not loud. No. Oh, look at that. What is that? Crazy landscape there. This is Astra. Astra. Fiera in Ooh. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ooh, nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's That's nice. nice. It's a nice bike. Uh, uh, nice. It, well, the thing is, right. He's got it balancing on two landscape. rocks. Could have gone landscape. Could, yeah. See the bike a bit more, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah let's cram it in. It's nice. Oh, wow, black and white. Yeah, trail dog. That's stylish. Yeah. Look at dog. that. It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Dylan Hargrave. you got a nice. Ooh, um, look at Isaac that. Isaac Spring it. That's nice. It's nice. Nice Rocky it's Mountain. Nice. In nice. Thunderbolt. It's got some Ergon grips. Oh, no, it's a Rocky Mountain Thunderbolt. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Thunderbolt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's nice. Ooh, oh, that as nice. a canyon. Jacob mm. Spindler in Austria. Spectral. Nice. Oh, John, you're missing out on this one, man. You mm. should see it. It's I'd, I'd really go further nice. I'd go further than that. Should we go super nice? Clean line. Yes. Super nice. Yes. Ooh. James Bentley. Another Benley. whitey. Look at that one. Oh, that is that is... The, is that, that's not a new one, is it? No, it's not the latest one. No. That is... That's not out yet. It just looks so clean. It looks The rear nice. wheel looks bigger than the front one. That's kind of weird. Super nice. Super it's nice. nice. Super nice. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> uh, Mateusz, oh, look at that there. drop. I yeah. went straight to the drop. He's getting ready to send it. Yeah, yeah. he is yeah. getting ready to send into that trail. Super nice. Oh, they're hitting the God, yeah. He's throwing them out today. Yeah. Crazy. Ooh, Sean oh, Sales. That one, eh? Spider Intense. Look yeah. at that. Nice. That is going back a few years. Yeah. That is really. Uh, I'm going to call it. Can I say it's a super nice bike? I think that is a super nice. I agree. I think that is a super keeping nice. Keeping that, like keeping it, like that, it, that like, rolling, yeah. that yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, I like the white 26, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Simon Guntani's in this. Simon! Simon oh, he's in, party. yes! We didn't Your bike is down. in. We didn't that. let it down. Should we? Should we? I don't, I don't think, th I don't I don't think, think it's, no. It's wrong. Yeah! <laughs> Simon, you made it to nice. super nice. Kona looking lovely. Look at that. Oh, oh he's gone moody shot. on that yeah. one. Yeah. Tom made a lot of That is so balls. Yeah, I've got a feeling that is in Sweden and it is nice. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, Plus size, yeah. nice golden giant, giant single, speed. Oh, single speed. I'm oh, super I, nice I, all over that. Super nice on all that. Silver series, you have it all super there. Nice. That is on the golden. And we are out. Ah, oh, that last one was so really good. So fast. Yeah. That last one oh, was amazing. Yeah, yeah really nice. Super Lovely nice, all shot. That. Three o'clock pedals. Love the bike vault. Mm. We we absolutely adore seeing your bikes. Um, and I'll tell you what, I know from people telling me it feels great when you see it in the bike vault. So have a go, send your bike over to us. Dirtshed at gmbn.com. You know where to send it, it's just there, it's on the screen. John put it there, he's a clever editor. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll okay, take a look at your bikes and we'll try and get it in the vault. What a show! Yes. Enjoyed this one. Uh, now, what have we got coming up on the channel this week? We've got, we've got an action packed weekend. So, on Saturday, we've got two pro bike checks. Two videos. First is with Andrew Needling, so that's going to be an wow. awesome one. And the second one is with our own Neil Donoghue. Ooh, oh, nice. Yeah, and then on Sunday, it's Epic Ride at Fort William. Ooh, that's a and good then one. another one as well, it's a Dolomites video. Oh, oh nice. nice. Bon big bonus weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're starting out on Monday with seven things you didn't know about carbon mm. fiber. Oh, yeah, and then Tuesday, we've got a great video every mistake. 
all the mistakes that every mountain biker makes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bonus day as well because there's another video and that is how to film your own edit and Wednesday, how to use skids out there on the trail. Yeah, which you know all about, dude. Yeah. It's a racer these days. Yeah. Um, on Thursday, we've got our regular Ask GMBN and then on Friday, we'll be back in the shed for the, the Dirt show. Shed Show. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. It's been an epic one as normal. What can we throw into? Oh, I'm going to throw to Flat versus Clipless. Clips. Clips, obviously. Yes. You need to watch that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then down here is how to nose bonk out on the trail, which is a really cool video, I think. Yeah. Yes. This strange shape obscuring my face is our fantastic logo. Click it to subscribe. You'll get a brand new video every minute of the day, it feels like, because we've got loads coming, coming up. Uh, Terry, give some thumbs.